Hello everyone. Welcome to this Google Cloud Platform training from Mind Magics. In Mind Magics, we have 10 plus years of experienced trainers. Uh, we have reputed corporates around the globe. We have over nine years of experience in serving e-learning industry. Uh, we have professional. We have 450,000 professionals who have got trained uh, from us and they have been certified. We are industry ready and have and have active certification based curriculum. We also provide technologies delivering live online trainings, corporate trainings and self paced video. Now about uh, the trainer. I have over 12 years of experience in IT, uh, 10 years of experience in working with, with cloud platforms and data engineering tools such as Azure and Google Cloud. Personally, I am a logic driven person and strongly uh, believe in fact based decision making. So in today's agenda, we will be discussing about uh, how to get started with Google Cloud. I'll be introducing you to Google Cloud and the different components, how to set up the environment, the GCP software requirements, the GCP benefits and its competitors. So if you can see these, uh, this will be the overall course curriculum. The total course will be like 30 hours. Uh, regarding the timing you have to contact mind magics and regarding fee also you have to contact mind magics so this course will include uh, like virtual networking cloud IA, iam data storage services resource management resource monitoring infrastructure automation with cloud api managed services application infrastructure services and containers so some random topics like google cloud computing virtual Google Cloud uh, or Google Compute Engine uh, will create some virtual servers, VMs. Uh, then you know Google Container Engine will, will set up Kubernetes, uh, the microservice. And then uh, regarding managed instance groups and uh, load balancing, uh, we'll also look at it. And then we'll also see ops and security. So these are not the only topics. These are some random topics. Besides these topics, there will be plenty of other stuff that we will be covering at the end of the course uh, you'll be getting a certification from mind magics if you want to go ahead with the set with the certifications from google so these are the uh, list or or uh, the certifications uh, the course that i'll be covering is good enough for uh, uh, like most of these certifications uh, some of the certification like machine learning and uh, collaboration engineering uh, or uh, cloud security engineer. These are something that will be uh, some extra topic that needs to be covered for most of the certifications. You'll be good enough with this course. So regarding the lab setup. So everything will be virtual and uh, on, on web portal. Most of the application will be on web portal. So you should at least have Windows 7 or above. We'll be using Chrome heavily for this particular tutorial. So these are some of the interview questions. If you want, I can just go through these interview questions. And at the end of the session, you should be able to uh, answer all these questions. So this is regarding the GCP demo questionnaire. So if you have any doubts, please reach out to info at mindmagics.com. Let's go ahead and get started with the actual tutorial. It's more of a demo for today. Let's get started. I've opened Google Cloud uh, platform. So to get started or to start from scratch, I'll have to use console.google.cloud.google.com. Uh, console so once I hit the URL will uh, redirect me to dashboard page. It will redirect me to a dashboard page. If you see in this particular page. I have all these widgets which give me information about the projects that I have the resources that I have been using uh, the, the compute engine the API's that I have been using can also trace like if there are, there are any issues that had happened I can trace that so or any other data that I have uh, I can trace that uh, if in case I have any API requests uh, I can also trace that so if I want to create a customized dashboard so I can create a customized dashboard so I'm just giving you an overview of uh, different features that we can do the actual training will start later stage. So now uh, apart from this, we also have a self tutorial here like uh, how to explore and enable APIs, how to deploy a, a pre-built solution. Uh, all these details, we already have some inbuilt tutorials. You can also take a look at it regarding the billing information. So whenever we I create a new project or whenever we uh, I'm creating a new project. So every time a new projects gets created you'll get a list of all the projects somewhere here now 
for every project a lot of uh, components are free but not every component suppose to give you an example suppose if i want to create a virtual machine so in this my first project so in this particular project i have created a virtual machine if i can take you into the project so this is the details of my project now if i want to see the project settings i can always use go to project settings so if i select that then i'll be able to uh, look at the project settings so if i want to shut down my project or migrate it to a different account i can also do that uh, or mi migrate this particular uh, uh, project uh, to or uh, like under a different project i can also do that now this privacy settings i'll not be discussing anything on these right now let's go ahead and see the navigation key so before before i'm going to, before we go to the nav navigation key so remember for every project or to get started you have to upgrade your uh, google cloud account first so like once you are hitting the url then since i have already activated using my credit card so there is a fees of like one rupee you will be charged for one rupee and then your account gets active so you'll need a premium license normally you get like a three months premium license and then uh, around uh, 21000 uh, rupees in terms of rupees they give you a starting credit of 21000 which is good enough for uh, the current training that uh, uh, we will be having now from that particular amount we can use that particular amount to create multiple components and then look at uh, uh, different components that we will be creating before going there let me show you the billing information so here if you go in the navigation menu so here uh, we have a billing uh, option so if i click on this billing option so basically i'll be able to track like whatever i'm, I'm being built so the good thing about uh, google cloud or any cloud application is when when you're putting in your credit card details so now if you see so there has been some payment outstanding payment dues on my account so it it will not directly go ahead and start deducting money from my uh, card what i can do is uh, i can choose like uh, an option when i'm uh, putting up my credit card details i can choose an option where you know i can i can choose not to pre deduct or auto de auto uh, deduct from my account so i can choose or i can control that so once i do that so every time uh, before deducting they'll prompt me so this is the amount that i need to pay so like 278 is my monthly amount that i need to pay so i i can go ahead and make that payment upfront or after every month so that my project keeps running so now again going forward uh, regarding the uh, report so whenever we are, we are using any cloud uh, application the billing becomes very important so because you know there is uh, it's like a prepaid service so that uh, you know you have to give your card details so that they have all those details and after that only you can start using so if you want to control that you can have that information call the billing information so that you can have then cost breakdown and everything you can have it here going back to the application so now let's go ahead and take a look at different components that we have so before going uh, before looking at the components let's talk about first the competitors so google cloud platform is gaining a lot of uh, attraction over the over last uh, a few years so it has really upgraded itself now if, if you talk about other other products that's available in the market aws ec2 uh, aws ec2 both being from amazon are two uh, two cloud platforms uh, then we also have microsoft azure so uh, to have like the popular uh, uh, applications that are being used for uh, the cloud platform let's go ahead and uh, then take a look at different components so from this navigation menu i can click on this navigation menu and then i'll have all the components here listed down suppose i want to create an app engine or run some services i can uh, start some services here i can look at the dashboards now for compute engine if i want to create a vm instance i'll show you how to create a vm instance and how to log into a vm uh, in this particular tutorial or in this particular demo so if i want to have uh, 
a VM instance and then you know instant templates. Uh, I want to attach a disk to my VM. I want to create a snapshot of of the server. I can do everything from this particular option. Again, coming to Kubernetes or uh, GC. So here, if I want to create clusters or workloads and then you know create services, I can do it from here. Then we also have other components like cloud functions cloud run vmware engines like inbuilt vmware engines then we have you know this storage facilities like uh, file stores uh, storage data transfer we also have big tables data store uh, if you are migrating database migration there is a great application here for uh, database migration seamlessly we can migrate our database uh, then we have a sql if i if i want to create uh, if i don't want to create a vm I want to just create a SQL instance. I can also create a SQL instance and then I can use the SQL instance and then you know, using some IDE or front end application, I can just connect locally on, on my system. Then there are also other options like VPC, network services, hybrid connectivity. So in detail, we'll have a discussion as we start uh, the actual training. Then uh, coming back, so coming back to other components. Uh, so we have uh, this data proc uh, pops up all these topics. For IoT also, we have something I, uh, IoT uh, core. Uh, then this is quite popular. This is gaining quite popular to like BigQuery. So this is more for big data. So if if I want to use big data, so I can use this uh, BigQuery. It has number of components like uh, SQL workspace data transfers uh, we can create uh, pipelines uh, then we have also we also have this BI engine we can do all those stuff so if you take a look at it we have uh, again coming back to more options for AI we have a number of options for NLPs we have a direct and uh, natural language processing option then there are a couple of AI platform options but as we go along we will be learning how to create a, a Jupyter notebook instance uh, then how to handle uh, Hadoop clusters then so in video intelligence so there's a, a lot of features on this one. so whenever we are creating a, a solution or whenever uh, I'll not the solution or whenever we are using an application among these options so we can directly use the UI uh, to create an application for instance if you want to automate uh, we also have a script option option just like you have a PowerShell in in Windows There is a active cloud shell uh, Available in Google Cloud Platform. So if I'm using this active cloud shell So if I'm using it so it will take like a couple of seconds So every operation or every uh, option that we use it has multiple options so either you can use uh, 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 direct the directly the UI from UI we can suppose for example if I'm uh, if I want to create a VM I can directly use the UI option but if uh, for some instance there is repetition in my work I want to create like multiple VMs going forward I can still use uh, the cloud shell okay so this is an example of cloud shell so here we can write our shell programming can write scripts and automate uh, the the development process so for now i'll just go ahead and uh, close this and a part as a part of this demo i'll just go ahead and show you how we can create a virtual machine or virtual server so to create a virtual server i'll have to go to navigation menu and from that navigation menu I can go ahead and use the compute engine from the compute engine compute engine. I can use the VM instances and from this VM instances I'll be able to choose or create a, a virtual machine. So now if you see I have already had already created a virtual machine if I want to see the configuration of a virtual machine or I want to create a new instance or a new VM so I can just click on this VM. And once I click on this VM I can name it uh, name the VM so uh, as I go along I'll see the monthly estimate. So the machine type I can choose what type of machine I want. 
uh, the configuration like uh, what is the cpu and the memory i can choose that uh, for now i'll not be creating exactly i'll not be creating i'll, I'll show you these options then you know uh, what type of operating system i want for now for now by default if you see it has selected like uh, a debian gnu linux 10 buster os but if i want to change it to windows i can always do that so if i go here and then i choose windows server ubuntu whatever i want then which version i want i can choose which version i want so i have these options here so depending on my needs i can select a certain version of windows so for now uh, and then you know if i want to set up a persistent disk or a standard persistent disk so uh, the details of it we will discuss as we go forward uh, and then uh, the size of the disk if i want to if i want to assign the size of the disk like 100 gb or something depending uh, my needs so i can also make that change and assign it or else if there is already an existing system if there is already an existing vm i want to recreate that vm i can just use the snapshot option now for instance uh, if i'm having a vm uh, let me just go back there is already an existing vm so i i would like to create a snapshot of that vm i can use a snapshot option here somewhere if i want to take a snapshot i can use the snapshots option and then using the snapshot i can i can create a snapshot of my vm and then i can just uh, go ahead and restore from my vm so for for instance if i want to use my vm i can just use the rdp here i can just use the rdp or else i can just download the rdp as well okay so i can provide my password and once i provide my password so i'll not be connecting directly here so once i provide my password i should be able to get into the uh, my virtual machine this is how we can create virtual machines and then uh, if i want if i don't want my virtual machine to keep running so for now this particular virtual machine is running so if i want to stop it i can stop suspend then reset uh, look at the details and then look at uh, the monitoring tools uh, even the ip address if i want like this is a dynamic ip address i have set for uh, this virtual machine if going forward if i want to set up something static then there are also ways in the settings we can configure and set up stat uh, static ip address so with this demo i think we are good enough thank you for joining